Hi, everyone, and welcome back to another episode of Office Hours with Jeff, or should I say, Workout with Jeff. So this is my go-to 30-minute total body challenge workout. It's for all levels, and you can do it in 30 minutes um, in between meetings, fit it in through your day. I'm doing it in between meetings right now, um, but let's have some fun. All you'll need is a mat and a set of weights. Let's take some deep breaths. Give me an inhale through the nose and exhale out of the mouth. Deep breathing in through the nose and out through the mouth. This is how I want you to breathe throughout our workout today, in through the nose and out through the mouth. After that breath, Let's start to roll our shoulders, big circles, backwards. Start to let that stress and tension roll off your shoulders. Roll them forward as well. Roll out your wrists, go in both directions. And then take your hands and place them on your core. Fingertips forward, thumbs back. Throughout class today, I want you to engage your core, bring your navel back towards your spine, and have that nice tight core. Now let's get moving. Bring your feet to about hip width distance apart, and we squat down and up. Toes are nice and light. Knees stay behind those toes, and squeeze that butt as you go down. Nice work here. We are warming up our major muscle group, getting our bodies moving. We move into a wide squat in three, two, and one. So feet are gonna go wider than hip width distance. Now, toes pointed forward. The same thing, we squat down and up. Toes are nice and light. Knees stay behind those toes. Squeeze that butt as you go down. Nice work. Hopefully you are feeling a little bit more warm as we move here. We go side to side in three, two, and one. Keep your legs wide in that stance as we lunge side, center, other side, center. So keep those feet in place as you lunge side to side. As you lunge, keep that knee over your ankle and really sit back into that lunge. As if you were shutting a door with your booty. So again, sit back, press back, and move side to side. This lateral movement is so good for your bodies where we're constantly sitting, we're just moving forward on a day-to-day -day basis. Three, two, one. All right, let's meet for a little bit of cardio. Moving into high knees. So pick up your knees and march. And you can add in your arms to engage all parts of your body here. Now, if you really want to pick up your heart rate, you can turn this march into more of a hop or a jog. I'm going to be giving you lots of options throughout this workout today. You pick what feels best for your body. 
That is the motto of not just this workout, but every class I teach. You know your body best, so do what's gonna feel good for you. Focus on getting those knees up, engaging that core. We're not here for that much longer. Switching to butt kickers in three, two, and one. Butt kickers this time. So bring your foot back up to your butt, little like hamstring curl as we march. You can open up your arms to open up that chest. You can also turn the march into more of a hop or jog if you want to really pick up that heart rate. Again, lots of options here. Get that heart rate up. This is our last warm up exercise before we move into our lower body set right after this. Nice work, almost there. Three, two, and one. All right, let's do this. Lower body, starting with deadlift. Grab those weights. And meet me feet hip width distance apart. Palms face in. And lower those weights about halfway down your shin. And then nice straight back, slowly come back up using your hips rather than your knees. At the top, option for an upright row. And then come back down. Deadlift here. And again, the upright row is completely optional. I will be giving options to layer in arms with all of our lower body work, but no, we have a separate arm set after this. But this is total body challenge. So I'm going to be giving you lots of options to work all parts of your body at the same time today. Three, two, and one. All right, that was 50 seconds. We're gonna transition to our next exercise, which is a squat. Feet hip width distance apart. Weights if you have them by your side. Squat down and up. Option this time to add in a shoulder press at the top. So knees. Stay behind those toes as you squat down. Elbows are nice and tight by your side. Press up. And there you have it, your squat with an optional shoulder press. So for all of these exercises we're doing from here on out, it's 50 seconds on, 10 seconds off. Nice work, almost there. Three, two, and one. Finish up your reps. And then we meet in a wide squat. Feet wider than hip width distance apart, toes pointed forward. If you have those weights, they can come to heart center. And we squat down and up. Option for the opposite, shoulder reach at the top. You wanna layer in those arms. Get in a little bit of a twist in the upper body. Check in on those toes. Make sure they're still nice and light. Knees stay behind those toes as you squat down. Nice work. So these are our three lower body exercises. We're gonna go through them one more time after this. Three, two, and one. Nice work. All right, back to the top. Deadlift, feet hip width distance apart, palms face in, and when you're ready, lower down, halfway down your shins. Nice, straight back, slowly come back up. You can add in that upright row at the top. Second time through. You know what this feels like now in your body. What can you do to make this second set even better than your first?
And again, you know what is best for your body. So take your options as you need. You don't have to add in the arms if you don't want to. Three, two, and one. All right, back to our squat. Weight by your side. You go in three, two, and one. Down and up. Again, options for the shoulder press at the top. Keeping your elbows, your arms nice and tight by your side. As you squat down. Keep those knees behind those toes. And engage that core. Keep that breath going in through the nose and out through the mouth. Nice work. You only have one more lower body exercise. After this, you are making your way through this workout. Nice job. Three, two, and one. All right, meet me feet wider than hip width distance now. Toes pointed forward. Weights if you have them at heart center. And we squat down and up. At the top option for the alternating arm reach. Toes are nice and light. Knees stay behind those toes. And engage that core. You got this. This is your final lower body exercise. We will move on to working our arms next after this. Three, two, and one. All right. Step on back up to a nice soft stance. We meet for bicep curls in three, two, and one. All right, palms face up, elbows by your side. We curl up and down. Elbows again, nice and tight by your sides as you lift and curl and back down. Now option here is to float or kick stand your right leg if you want to add in a little bit of a balance challenge. But again, totally optional if you want to just focus on that bicep curl. You can also do one arm at a time with that curl. Again, take whatever combination of options feels best for your body today. Three, two, and one. All right, quick break to transition. We move into side arm raises in three, two, and one. All right, bring those arms out to the side, no higher than shoulder height, and then back down. You can go one arm at a time, or have that slight bend in your elbow for a little more support in that shoulder. The key here is to focus on that slow, intentional movement as you lower your weight back down. Now check in on your knees. Make sure they're still nice and soft. Three, two, and one. All right, let's keep working those biceps. Hammer curls this time in three, two, and one. Elbows nice and tight by your side. Heads of your waist come to your shoulders and back down. Now option here to also add in whatever balance you did, I challenge you to do on this side, your left side, to match and balance out what you did earlier on the right. Keep those elbows nice and tight by your side. Again, always welcome to do one arm 
at a time for your hammer curl. Nice job. Keep that core engaged, especially if you have that leg lifted. Three, two, and one. We move into another set of arm raises, but this time they're out in front. So three, two, one. Bring those weights out no higher than shoulder height in front of you and slowly back down. Here also option to go one arm at a time and have that slight bend in your elbow for a little extra support in that shoulder. All right, let's do this. Focus on that slow, intentional movement rather than letting gravity or momentum do the work for you. Check in on your knees, make sure they're nice and soft. Check in on your core, make sure it's nice and engaged. You got this, we're toning our arms, getting them ready for the warmer summer weather. Three, two, and one. We're setting up for some tricep work next. So follow me here. Bring your feet together, knees together, and then squat back, really sit back into that squat as you hinge forward, torso almost parallel to your mat. Then bring your arms up by your side, elbows nice and tight, and extend those arms back out, then bring them in. Almost similar to what we did earlier with the hammer curl, but now we're just in a slightly different position. So elbows are nice and tight by your side. You can also go one arm at a time here. You'll feel that work in your upper arm muscle, that tricep muscle that we are strengthening. Almost there, you got this. Three, two, and one. Final arm exercise. We combine what we did earlier, side to front arms in three, two, and one. We go out to the side, and then to the front. So combining what we did earlier, same thing here, slow, intentional movement. Building that arm strength. All right, after this, we just have our set of core work. Three, two, and one. All right, nice job, we're done with arms. Safely place your weights off to the side and slowly lower your way onto your mat in a seated position. We are going to find our V-sit or our earthquake sit next. So knees up, roll your shoulders back, chest nice and proud, have some space between that chin and that chest, and then start to hinge back. You'll know you've gone far back enough when you feel that upper core here light up and shake like a little earthquake. Once you're there, we add in a twist. Side, center, other side, center. You can float your feet a couple inches off the ground. If you wanna up that magnitude of your ab earthquake, shake a little bit. Three, two, and one. All right, plant your feet on the ground, lay your back down, knees stay up. Hands go behind the head, elbows nice and wide. And we move into our little crunch. It's just a little lift up off those shoulders from the mat and back down. Keep your gaze up towards the ceiling. Elbows nice and wide. You should barely be able to see them in your peripheral vision. Chin away from that chest. All of this keeps the work in your abs rather than your neck. You got this.
three, two, and one. All right, hands come by your side, glue that lower back to the ground, and then bring your legs 90 degrees up into the air. We do our toe taps now. So tap one toe down to the ground, then bring it up to 90. Other toe, tap to the ground, then bring it up to 90. Option for both feet at the same time, or you can glue your legs together and do full leg lifts from here. So strain your legs, slowly lower them down, hover them a few inches above the ground, and then slowly lift them back up. Lots of options here. These are your three core exercises that are going to take you to the finish line. We're gonna do them one more time through. And that's the only thing standing between you and the end of this workout. You got this. A few more seconds here. Three, two, and one. All right, take your knees, bring them to your chest, give yourself a little hug, and then rock back up to that seated position. All right, one more time through. Let's do another earthquake sit. Knees up, roll your shoulders back, chest nice and proud. Space between that chin and that chest. And start to hinge back. When you feel that upper core start to light up and shake like a little earthquake. We twist, side, center, other side, center. Again, you can float your feet a couple inches off the ground if you'd like. Three, two, and one. Lay your back down. Knees stay up, hands go behind the head, elbows nice and wide. We do another set of crunches here. Again, it's a little lift up off those shoulders from your mat and back down. Keep your gaze up towards the ceiling, elbows nice and wide, space between that chin and that chest. And let's go, strengthening our core here. Just a little crunch but it's doing big things to strengthen those abs. You got this. You only have one final core exercise after this. You are so close to the finish line. Three, two, and one. All right, lay those backs down, hands come by your side, legs 90 degrees in the air or full leg lift and then we tap it out to the finish line. One toe down, then the other, both toes at the same time. Or again, the full leg lift. Lots of options here. Final exercise of the workout. We get to relax and stretch after this. Almost there. Keep it up. Three, two, and one. You're done. Just relax. Lay on your mat. You can close your eyes if that feels good. And just breathe in through the nose and out through the mouth. Let those endorphins rush through your body as you take in all that positive energy and acknowledge all that strength you just showed yourself on your mat. 
deep breathing here. Slowly bring your heart rate down. Now you're welcome to just lay here and relax, cool down as long as you'd like. But if you're ready to start stretching, and moving on back to your day, slowly roll onto your belly side and meet me in a tabletop position. Wrists below shoulders, knees below hips. We'll do a couple sets of cat cow together. Inhale, gaze up, belly down for your cow. And then exhale, gaze down and round your spine for that cat. One more set here. Inhale into your cow. And exhale into your cat. Come back to tabletop. Bring your hands a couple inches forward. Really press firmly into your mat. Get up onto your tiptoes and then press your hips up high into the sky. Feel your spine extend long as you make your way into downward facing dog. Pedal out your dog by bringing one heel down to the ground and then the other. And then slowly walk your hands to your feet, but don't roll up just yet. Keep your feet hip width distance apart. We're gonna hang in ragdoll. So have a nice bend in your knees, lay your chest on your thighs, and then grab onto opposite elbow with opposite hands and sway side to side. You hang heavy here. Come to center and roll up one vertebrae at a time. Nice and slow. Then join me, ground your feet into the mat. Bring your arms up overhead, extend them nice and tall into a strong mountain pose. And then cactus your arms back, squeeze your upper shoulder blades together, open up that chest, open up your heart, receive all that positive energy that you just created from your workout. Come back up to mountain pose. Grab onto your right hand and bend towards the left side for a side body stretch. Switch sides, grab onto your left hand and bend towards the right. Back to center, bring your arms by your side. And then let's slowly roll our necks out. Nice and slow and in both directions. This is my favorite stretch, so take your time here. Again, just let any remaining stress melt away. And let's quickly do a lower body quad stretch. So we're gonna take our left leg and we're gonna grab our foot and bring it up to our butt. You can grab onto a wall for balance or stability. You'll feel that nice lengthening of your front left thigh. Switch sides, grab onto your right foot this time, bring it up to your butt and hold on to the wall for balance and stability. Now I want you all to keep drinking lots of water and stretching throughout your day after this workout. It's important to take good care of your body after all that hard work. And our couple moments here are never enough. All right, let's release. And before I end, let's take one final deep breath together and this workout just the way we started. Give me a big, Inhale through the nose. Thank your body for everything it did in these 30 minutes. You are so strong. Big exhale out of the mouth. 
Thank you so much for taking 30 minutes out of your day to take care of yourself, challenge yourself, to do something wonderful for your body. So don't forget to like and subscribe, and I'll see you on another episode of Office Hours with Jess. Thank you.